Hi subbies, how are you all doing? Today I have a Primark haul. This time it's going to be a try and one. Over. A try and one. Basically last time I had a lot of comments and a lot of people saying I wish it was a try and haul, you more, you'd get more views and it'd be a better video. So today I decided that the Primark haul, sorry I'm warm, I have just cleaned my bedroom, I've just vacuumed the floor and then put the um, Nutridol on and my bedroom smells really nice right now and I'm rather <laughs> Oh my god, rather happy with how clean my bed, my flooring is right now, my carpet is right now. But yes, I did in the Primark car, so I'm going to try and one. As I said, um, lots of you wanted to try and one for the last time, but this time, but last time, should I say, I didn't do a try and one because I didn't have time, it was too dark. But finally, for once in my life, I've got YouTube sorted out. I've got all the weeks scheduled, all the weeks uploaded, scheduled, and going up on time for three weeks running. Don't know how long it's going to last, guys. Just don't be expecting it to last any longer than that. But I'm hoping it does, because it is nice to not have to stress about filming, not have to stress about editing and uploading, not have to stress about um, getting them up on time and everything. So now I'm happy that I've got at least three weeks side out of scheduled videos and hope you are happy with it too. But yes, today I've got a primer call. It is going to also include a next... Um, deliver it as I did say I was going to try on the um, try on the, the next stuff so I'll be trying on the next dress and bag off my Christmas money and then also I got this next top as well I think I'm trying to think if I ordered something else from next last time I can't remember oh yeah I'm not, I'm not, I also ordered some other stuff as well but that isn't for wearing on YouTube but yes today prime my call let's go on with it and I am probably going to be super warm during this video. I'm sorry for any background noise. My sister's currently in a hype mood, so she keeps screaming and she's really giddy. And then also my family's here. But that I that is just a disclaimer to you guys because some of you are like, why well, I've got so much back, background noise and stuff. But I am living in the family house and you've got to expect Lucy to be giddy in the background. But I'm, not, I'm not going to shut her up for a video. I never would do that. But yes, thank you for watching and let's get on with the video, guys. Whichever way you want to go. So the first top you'll have seen in the thumbnail, I just picked it out for the thumbnail. Not the best of thumbnails, but I have never bought one of these before. This came through on receipt, it's a spaghetti top. And it is a spaghetti strap crop top. The straps are like plastic, so I won't be surprised if I end up trying this on and saying, oops, can't wear it, it's too big, too small, etc. But this, they're just plain ones. Um, I wanted some kind of different different kind of tops from holiday this year. So I got two of these spaghetti tops. I got, I got this one. These were £3 each and I got them in size 10 to 12, Primark obviously, um, but yes, a white one and you also got, I'm pretty sure, a grey or a black one. So I got the nude as well. Um, I got these just because I want to try something, a different kind of top instead of just wearing normal shirts which have like the, like that much of a sleeve in them. I want to wear more summery tops in summer so I'm more my age, like I want to feel more confident in my body. So yes, I got these tops and the straps are like proper weird. They feel more plastic than fabric. But yes, I've got the nude as well as the white. So let's try these on. So this is the white one. I've decided just the minute I put it on, I'm going to take them back. I don't like them. The straps end, end up shows my, my bra strap off and I don't like... I was going to put them with jeans basically and it obviously doesn't go. So I'm going to just tear these back. Please don't give me criticism for that. I just don't like how it looks and how it feels and I just don't like the straps. Uh, but yes, these are going back because I'm not going to try the nude one on. Fortunately, I've kept the receipt. I'm sorry my top of my head chopped off of this video. Basically, it's because my I've not put the tripod any further up. Um, but yes, that's what the spaghetti top looks on, like on. And I'm going to take these back because I just I don't like the fitting and I don't like I just personally don't like them. Please don't give me any criticism. It will be deleted in the comments. So as I said, so I'm just moving the tripod back a bit. Them tops are going back, I've put them, I've folded them up and put them down there. I'm hoping I have the um, receipt because obviously I cannot, sorry, I've got a new weapon phone and it tells me one of you has ordered off my glossy box. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you so much. I've got the YouTube studio app and it brings up comments instead of it to, having to bring it up through YouTube. This is kind of like a big off topic thing. But I've just got a comment saying that someone has used my referral code for Glossy Box. Thank you so much. I, you get a discount and I get money as well to go towards my next one. It's either, I think I get uh, money to go towards the next one. It, it works in favour of you and of me. If I, when you re use your referral code on Birchbox and Glossy Box, um, 
I think it gives it gives it definitely gives you a discount but also gives me money or a discount on my next costume box so thank you so much guys thank you so much oh I'm so happy now I didn't know think people were gonna use it but they have but yes then tops are going I feel so humble now then tops are gonna be going back unfortunately because I just don't like them and they just don't fit me right and that's my personal opinion I I generally forgot I got this top I was panicking and thinking I swear I got a different one, but no, I got two. I got, yes, I got black top, but it's just because this is um, made with organic cotton and you can tell the difference between these tops and the 250 tops, obviously. The one that I got last time, which says live in the moment, and it's the white one with the black writing on, not the one, oh, is it said? I'm pretty sure it's that one. I'm pretty sure it says that. Um, but I've got one that has three lines, says live in the moment. Then I've also got a one with just one line that says live in the moment, I'm pretty sure. That one, it feels so soft and it's so comfortable, it's unreal. But yes, I got another um, organic cotton one. And this one, they brought out like this, um, I'm just call, gonna call it a, a happiness range, mental health range. Um, this one um, says optimist noun a person who is hopeful and confident about the future or success of something i am trying to be more confident this year and um think more positively than negatively because i'm really bad with thinking negatively and um, this is four pound and as you can see that it says made with organic cotton um and this is a size small again in size 10 to 12 um four pound and there it is if you want to see the writing um, but yes, it's a black top. You know me, I never buy black tops. But I just loved that slogan and it's just easier for me to wear and um, I just don't have to be worried about any stains or anything. But yes, oh, it's not going to focus there if you can read that. But yes, um, I got this top. I also got a black top. So I'm going to show that at the same time. But yes, that is the Optimist top. This one just says, this one's the £4, but it isn't organic cotton. This one, as you can tell, it says, actually, I can. Um, I've been put down for GCs and stuff, saying she can't do it, she can't do it. And I've proved people wrong. This goes in my favour a lot. Um, I just love this top. It's a lot of positive vibes. And it's just going to help with, um, like, positivity and stuff. But yeah, it's just a black top with actually, I can in it in me. This one's a medium. And this one's 12 to 14, so this one's going to swamp me. But yes, I've got two black tops to try on now. And I'm going to just look at my phone, see if the app has worked. Bye guys, this is the Optimist top. And this does fit. I'm going to keep this top as black. It's just easiest to wear for me. And some like I've realised that because it just doesn't so, show um, yes, sweat stains more often. And it's just easy to wear. So is white. White is like what you always wear. Because it's just easy to wear and it's just easy to wash. And... Easy to clean and stuff, and I just prefer wearing white because it just doesn't show sweat stains and stuff. So black is the same. But yes, this top is comfortable, and I feel very happy with it. <laughs> it is just above my boobs, but oh well. But yes, I got. I just I like it. It's just a basic black top, and now for the actually I can top. So I kind of knew this was gonna swamp me. It's a medium size, twelve to fourteen, but <laughs> it does come just nearly past my hips, which is rather bad. But I can crop it because it, these can you can turn these into crop tops. But yes, just a basic black top with actually I can on. You know, I know I never buy black, but I love the slogans. It feels very, like, more, uh, like, empowering to wear things that um, shows vob vobative, positive, like, messages and stuff. So I love this top because it says actually I can. I never take my jumpers off though, guys. But at least then, if I know I get, I'm going to get too hot. I can take my jumper off and actually show this top. Very happy with it and don't know what else to say, it's a black top with actually I can. I definitely look weird with a black top. I don't care, I'm wanting to like adventure and look into different clothing. I don't know guys, take me as it is just yet. Actually I can. So as you can probably tell to this haul already, there is a theme to it. So I'm doing all the tops first. Um, I've bought a lot more tops this time because I've got tops in my wardrobe which I am wanting to donate to charity um, because they are either too small for me or that's basically it. They're, even too, they're just too small for me. Some of them I've had for ages and um, I've, just, I've ended up growing out with them and I just don't like link with them as much. So I'm at least not put them in the bin. I'm going to do them, donate them to BHF, British Shark Foundation. I always donate to them because they um, send you carry bags out to put your donations in and they also pick them up for free. Not a promotion. Um, but yes, the next top. I love this top so much. I, I was planning on using this with a gift card. I did use this with a gift card. I got a gift card and I had £5 on it and I got myself 
this Winnie the Pooh top. He just shouted at me. It was so cute. They've got the Disney range out now. They've had a Disney range out for a while, but now they've got the Winnie the Pooh series. So they've got Winnie the Pooh, they've got Eeyore, they've got Tigger, they've got Piglet, they've got the Wise Owl, they've got just all of them. They've even got the um, uh, Winnie the Pooh jumpers, which are yellow with the little Winnie the Poohs on. I love that jumper so much, but I just don't. I know that if I wear it, I'm going to end up staining it, so I'm not going to get that one. But I've got this one, and I love it so much. It's so cute. This was £5, and as you can see, it's going into poo all over it. And it's a size small, and that is a size 10 to 12. It's just a white top with ear, like, look at little, just poo all over it. I love the Winnie the Pooh book and I've read the Christopher Robin book because they brought out the new film and the new book to it. So I read the book and I've watched the film and it's so sad but it's like I didn't know that Winnie the Pooh was based off a true story of a child that ended up getting grown into having this Pooh bear and then the father of it and then the father of the child making the teddy bear into a um, Winnie the Pooh series. Um, so yeah, well book. So yes. I'm really, really looking forward to wearing this. It's so cute. And I can also crop this as well. So when it gets too small, I can crop it into a little crop top and it even looks so cute. But yes, guys, I got Winnie the Pooh top and I'm super looking forward to wearing this. So yes, here is the Winnie the Pooh top. It is super cute. It's actually quite cozy as well. And I love it so much. Like, I can't really see on camera it's coming up well. But this is the best thing about having a flip screen camera. Last time when I had done the trend haul with my Canon, um, it's not had a flip screen so I've had to put the mirror behind my camera so I can see what it's like but it's so much easier on this camera and being able to look in the viewfinder and look at the actual top on me but yes, Winnie Pooh top, there's not really much else to say about it it's just got Winnie the Pooh all over it, Winnie the Pooh all over it and it's super cute and it's a size small so yes, super cute, I love it and who else doesn't love Winnie the Pooh? Next top is this one this one is much more in your face than the Winnie the Pooh one um, this reminds me of a um, a CD I've seen by a really well-known um, band. If you know what it's from, comment down below what it is. I've got a clue at the moment. This is a size small and it's from the Primark 250 range. I just love this top. It's white again, so easily more to wear. And it's got all these faces all over it. Um, I, I generally don't know what that what, um, thing it's from. So I'm just trying, the worst thing about this camera is you have to look behind the top see if it's focusing. But yes, tell me in the comments below if you know what kind, what um, CD or what like band has used this on their album cover. But it's giving me these major thing vibes, um, CD vibes, but I can't remember what it's from. But yes, I like this top, it's in your face and it's something different. They had loads, I always go for a size small now though. But yes, 10 to 12, 250 and now let's try it on. Here's the top, I really like it on. It, the best thing about the Prime Act tops is that they actually suck to your body, if that's what that makes sense. But this, um, I don't like these tops. One of the reasons I don't like these tops is because of the neck. I hate anything that tugs at my neck. So that's why I never wore nail necklaces, and now I do wear necklaces because I've got used to my crucifix. But I just don't like tops that when you're walking around, they go back like that. And the neckline is so close to your neck that it feels like you're literally suffocating or like there's something around your neck. Um, but yes, I love this top. It's obviously just a top with these faces on. And it fits very well as well without the tags. It'll look even better. So that is all the tops, like the t-shirts that I've got. I got one, two, four tops. I did I get five. Hmm. I think I've got five, I'm pretty sure to get four. I can't really remember, they're all just above my bed, my bed now. Um, I got two bargains at pa Poundland, at Primark guys. I am super happy with these. This first item I'm very happy with. I love this item so much. And I feel much more girly in it, and you'll see it in the thumbnail. As I forgot I got this top, but I'm just looking at my phone again. I'm expecting a text from somebody, sorry. Um, I have my pre-op tomorrow. Going off track again, I have my pre-op tomorrow. And like my head, like this morning, I was like, oh my god, I'm gonna pre-op tomorrow. Let me have a, a good like day today, my body. And it's just been in the middle. It's been on and off, and I've been trying to drink loads. That's from a bottle here. That's just reminding me to have a drink. Um, I've got, sorry, I've got stuck here in some people with me, and you just heard my my fingers crack. Oh well, hypermobile. Um, and I'm just like. Oh my gosh, I'm hoping my body's really good tomorrow and that um, 
I go to the toilet and I don't have to like be ill. I'm just, I'm, I know I won't be ill, but I'm just hoping that my body's good to me because some days my body's like awful to me. But yeah, it's gonna be up tomorrow, guys. I'm hoping it goes well because this video is three weeks later. So I would have told you, well, actually, you won't get to know till after these videos if we're well or not, unless I post on Instagram or my YouTube. My Instagram for my YouTube channel is because um, everyone's going into my personal one, which I'm going to end up having to turn into my, in my I'm going to have to end up turning my personal Instagram into my YouTube Instagram because mostly follow me on my Lizzie's account, whereas my actual um, Girls of Halls account is right here. It's official under dash Girls of Halls X, all one thing. It'll be right here and leave it up there for a little while so you can actually see it. Um, but if I do post anything, it'll be on there. Um, I do post onto YouTube community quite a lot about um, polls and stuff, so it might be on there as well. But yes, yeah, come on pre-up tomorrow and I'm rather nervous. Have to be up, um, I have to be at hospital for half nine in the morning on my day of work. I wanted to, I had a lovely sleep this morning, slept until like 10 o'clock, no, 20 past 10 I woke up. I'm gonna have to wake up about half seven. Great, earlier than I normally get up for work. Great. Anyway, this next top is gorgeous. I love this so much. And it's this corset top. I adore this. Super happy with how cheap it was. I would not buy this at full price. This was in the winter clearance. They have had to reduce all their summer stuff from last year um, into their winter clearance this year. Proper cheap, guys. So this was originally £12. £12. It's a size, is it size small, medium? It's a size 12. I love this top. It has, let me just hide the um, price tag so that you can see it afterwards. Uh, afterwards. It has the zip down the back. Fortunately, it doesn't fully un done. Fortunately, it doesn't fully come out, so like if it comes open accidentally, it won't fall off. That's a lie, it'll fall down, but it won't fall off. But yes, I adore this top so much. I love it, super chuffed how much it was. It suits me so much. I just I fell in love with them and I saw it. And I was hunting in size 12 and had one. So happy to go for size 10. This one, um, it's a it's a course, it's a type. Oh my god, calm down. Is a corset type of top, so it does suck in a lot. So a size, what's happening to my voice? A size ten would suffocate me. This suffocates me. Just no. This is all right. Is this? It fits me, and I'm alright with it. A size ten though would suffocate me. This was twelve pound, and let me just show the price tag. The price I got it for. I'm so warm. Oops. I got it for two. This was a prime action into Leeds. If you want to go get yourself one, I'd grab yourself. I'd go right now. Like, cannot believe how cheap this was. I did get it last month though, so it might have all been sold out by now. But yes, actually, I got it last. I got it two weeks ago. But yes, two quid from twelve for this, and it is so nice. And I'm so looking forward to wearing it somewhere else when I go on holiday this year. But yes, let's try this on for you guys. Yes, guys, I love this top absolutely love it it goes actually kind of well with jeans but yes this is the size 12 two pound top and yes you can see my belly i do not care i have a tubby belly i don't care i'm literally needing to get to nine stone i generally don't care if i'm showing sure skin for the moment i love this top this is a try and hold i got to take it as it is but the worst thing about this top is that the straps here are like um Palpitation here then. Um uh too fat in for the bra straps. I'm gonna wear this with a bandeau um bra instead of a natural bra. I don't really care for show a bra off, but like I still feel kind of not squeamish about it, but yeah, squeamish about it, feel very awkward about it in public. So I am gonna most likely wear a bandeau um bra with this, but I love this so much guys. I feel so girly in this. Much I feel my age instead of however old I am with them other tops on. I just prefer the I just prefer wearing these kind of tops like in summer. I don't wear these at home. I always wear these when I go on holiday to Wales so that like nobody over there knows me and I, I feel much more I feel much less um body conscious when I'm in Wales wearing stuff like this because no one knows me over there. I'm at the beach, it's summer, whereas over here I just could not wear stuff like this in winter in like not winter. In summer I just could not wear this over here. I most likely will, but I love this top so much. I'm gonna pack it for my holiday this year. And I just love it. I feel much more girly in it. I do have to suck in. 
because when I do try to take a deep breath in, it is very, it's constricting, but it doesn't stop me breathing, so that's good. But yes, I love this top so much, and I definitely recommend, if you find it in your Primark store, to definitely buy them. So, you just saw that top. I love that top so much. I just love it. It's so simple, and it's very me when I wear it, and I feel very girly in it. I also bought a dress. Um, I bought one of these last year. And I never wore it, and I would never. I was. I knew I was never going to wear it, so I ended up donating charity. This, um, I regretted that the minute I donated it, but it's going to a good family now, so it's good. This was also um, on sale. Not going to tell you how much it was, but it was also twelve pound. I'm going to tell you, it was down to two quid. For so I thought it was my hair then. It was two pound from twelve, so I had to buy it. It's size twelve. When I was buying it, I was like, oh my gosh, that is amazing, that is such a nice dress. Because I just love the, where the, where your bra go, where your, where your breasts go. But yes, it's a size 12. Um, it's a mid blue. Oh no, it was £13 to tw to the, £13 to two quid, guys. A bargain or what? This is by Denim Co. Certified and it's size 12. It's like that big. Um. It's obviously got the zipper down the back. I think I've caught something on my neck it's itching now. Oh my, I'm so warm. But yes, I don't, like, when I picked it up, I loved it. But now that I'm, like, I've worn it, it is a bit baggy here. And I don't really like that in this dress. I want it to be more, like, like sucking up to the chest and not having to end up pulling up and down all the time. But I will try and for you guys. This is the last product. This is the last item from Primark. My arms are now aching. I do. I did promise you I was going to try on the stuff from next, so I will try it on after these if I remember what I popped. I did end up getting something else from next as well because the gift cards came through. But yes, let's try on this dress, the last item from Primark. Yes, here's the dress. See, it's back in here and I don't like it. Like, I don't, like, I don't know, guys. I generally don't know, like, my belly is so prominent, it's ridiculous. Um. Like, you can't really see the bottom. You can just barely see the bottom of where the dress ends. But it is a very kind of dress. And, like, you can see the little bump. I look I look like I'm, what, so many weeks pregnant. I'm not. I'm not. Anyway, I don't really like it. I don't know if I take it back or not. I feel weird in it. It's, like, um, this bit I don't like. And it's just not really me. I don't know. I don't like this bit. It was a bag for two quid and it just doesn't go over the bar straps right either. But yes, this is a dress and I don't know what else to really say about it. It's just a dress and oh my gosh, I'm going to fall over. Um, but yes, that was the last product from Primark. I'm now going to try on the uh, coral dress from Next, which you'll see in the what I got with my Christmas money. And then I'll also show you the top, which I just bought from Next and try that on as well. Cause I told, oh, oh gosh, Rachel, breathe. I told you that I would, but yes, let's try on the coral dress, which I love. I am so happy with how well it fits me. Guys, this is the coral peach dress. I love it so much. Um, It's like box at the back and it is so like spinny. I'm not gonna do proper spin because then I'll show much more, I will end up showing much more than I want to. But yes, I love this dress so much. The fabric is unbelievably thick and the skirt is like so big. Like when you spin, it proper flares out. I love this dress so much and like it is above the knees and I've been t taught as a little girl, do not wear skirts above the knees. But this dress suits me so well, it sucks in so well. The skirt does, just, like the actual dress part does start quite high up. But I love it. It's got a box front so it like doesn't show too much off. Um, but yes, I love it. And if you find it in your next store or online and delivery, I definitely recommend this. This is a size 12, I believe so. Yes, and I love this so much. Like, I just love how cute it is. It feels like a prom dress, but it isn't. It's actually a boohoo night dress. But yes, this is it on. I've just remembered as well in my wardrobe there's a play suit. I'm going to try the play suit on. I will be pulling the. Uh, the chest part closer in because it just shows too much off and I don't like how much it shows off so I will be holding that bit in but yes I love this dress so much and let's go on with the play suit then I'll be showing you the top and then that'll be the end of the video this is the play suit from Boohoo it's too way too wide 
on this bit. I was going to get a clip, but I just couldn't be bothered going over there to then come and cover it again. But yes, this is the play suit from Boohoo. I love it so much and it's a satin kind of fabric and that's really it about this. Um, it does come much more up and down here, but I'm not going to show you that bit. And it also has a zip here as well. And yes, it's quite nice. Coming in order of me. It's a nice summery outfit. Surprise! <laughs> My hair is down for once. Like, it feels so weird being down. I don't like it down because, like, how in my face it gets. My fringe is the same length as my hair all the way around. My hair is all one length so I've not got like a bowl cut or like whatever or like a bangs or anything. I have my fringe the same length as my hair all the way around ever since done school and ever since I've just had it the same. But yes it's actually currently wavy or curly I should say as I've had it in a plait all day. I've had it in a plait all night with wet plait all night and then I've had it in a plait all day today so it's kind of like got used to being in a plait all day. So I was like for the last clip people want to see my hair down so I'll put it down for the last little um, top which I got from next and now it's going to go behind because I just don't like it. I don't like it down guys. It feels so annoying down. Like I don't know. I need, I need different hair cells of how to have it down because I need it down but to one side like that but I look idiotic like that. Anyway, um, the last top is this one from an ex and this is the Boohoo the boo hem top and this was um, six quid. I don't like this top either. Size 12. It's a hem top. Um, what was it like a box top or something? It was something like that because it's got like this to the back. It's like a sports top but it isn't a sports top. And it's got this really nice pattern at the bottom. You see online it looked amazing on the model and then I got it, tried it on grandma's. I was gonna show like my grandma and mummy with me with me wearing it but I decided no because I didn't like it. But yes it's a boohoo top. I just don't like that when you wear it because of how open this bit is it, you can see the bra all the way around. Um, tell me in the comments below if you wear anything under this or what you would put this with because all I'm putting this with at the moment is jeans and this is what I'm going to be wearing when I put try on now uh, but I've got this top and then to make it another I had to get another 150 on um, so to make it 750 get my schnizzers I purposely said that don't take the mickey I'm just going to open these I've got some hair bands, no, not hair bands, hair clips, which are scurried protected, oh my god, protected, oh come on, go over there. i got these silver hair clips, like I don't even know, these were originally five quid and I've gone for 150. Bag in there or what? But yeah, see the silver, just normal hair clips. I got these so I can do different hairstyles and I was thinking when I do my plait, I can at least, um, clip it at the back so it doesn't fall down um but i don't know what to do with like one of them's in right now and at least it's going to keep my hair over that way but i don't know what to do with this one i don't want to like do that because i look stupid and i don't want to do that because i also look stupid i need something to do with my hair so that it keeps it back and i just don't want to look like an idiot like that i just don't know i don't know guys I don't know, I don't know about hairstyles. All I've known is to wear a plait because I've ever, I've always worn a plait since preschool so that it's my hair at one side and that it's just easier to control. And now I've got two clips in the back, which I'm hoping, yes, yeah, you can see, you can see the mirror. Um, but I just don't like, I just don't let my hair down. That's why I wear it up. Anyway, I'm going to try this on now. Great. So here it is, my hair's down, and actually goes quite well with these jeans. But the problem is, as you can see, the bra all the way around, and that's why I don't like it. I don't even know what it looks like at the back. The back's not too bad, it's just the sides. And I just don't like how thingies at the front, like, it's not exactly covering out. I don't know what to wear underneath this to stop that happening, unless it's that kind of top that you just wear it, just wear it like this, and have. Um... The bra showing, I don't know guys. Anyway, comment down below. But yes guys, that was the video. Please like, subscribe, comment below. I'll see you all on 
um, Friday with the Poundland Hall as I will have a Poundland Hall on Friday at one o'clock and I hope you all have a great week and enjoy the little moments and please just stay safe and enjoy life. Thank you for watching. Life's going to be below. Love you guys. See you on Friday. Bye.